Hello and welcome to Megash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you how to import an image into Autodesk Revit. In case you want to trace a floor plan or you want to import a floor plan and use it as a reference, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So in order to import an image, just head over to the Insert tab right beside Systems here, head over to the Insert tab and then under the Link tab you're going to see Link Image. Go ahead and select the Link Image option and then search for the folder that has your images i think mine is on the desktop of the image that i want to use it's under here floor plan and you're going to notice that there is one file in here this file is set to jpg file that is the file format of the image and you notice under here under file types Revit is going to show you the file types that it understands so in case you're using a different image file type that is not any of these the image might not show up now if you look at my floor plan folder you see that there are actually two image files but revit is only seeing one of those files that's because it's set to the correct format in jpg so in case you don't know how to do that just change the format extension to match any of the formats that revit actually understands to do that head over to view head over to file extension just show up the file extension you can see the jfif for the other file so i just saved the copy and saved it as jpg and then revit was able to now understand it so once you have that file in there head over to revit and then you have the jpg file just select that file and click open you're going to have the file attached to your mouse like this what i like to do is to head over to the center and then click and once you click once the image is going to drop and you can have your image file now in revit now when it comes to accuracy of this file i think revit operates on a pixel format or raster format so most of the dimensions are almost accurate with the floor plan that is actually imported in here. So I'm just going to use the modify tab and then use the measuring tool. And then we're going to check that, okay, the dimension of this bedroom, this master bedroom is 5.0. So let's just try it from here and try to measure from this end to this end. So it's showing a 4.6, I guess, 4.682. That's not a 5.0, but it's close enough. But what I like to do in this case is to actually trace the model. So you can use a wall tool, for example, generic wall of 200 and just dance over the walls like this. And once you're done tracing the entire wall patterns in your building, let's just head over to this point. Once you're done tracing the walls and then you have them where you want them to be. Let me just go over this wall. It's obviously going to be something that you can edit all over again. So once you have the wall to the end like this, you can use the trim and extend tool, that's okay. In 3D, you can see that the wall actually follows what is on the image, but once you're done with that and then you have your image, you can use the floor plan as a reference to actually modify your building. So you can edit the internal walls to match the dimensions that are on the actual floor plan that you imported, just to make it more accurate. And that is how you can go about importing an image into Autodesk Revit. You can use this as a reference file to actually trace your floor plan and save yourself the stress of going back and forth to try and find out what the floor plan is saying and how you can go about designing your model. So if if you found this video useful remember to leave a like on it and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this i'll see you in the next one